Hi friends! The software to recognize an image into a text, the so-called OCR, has been around for a while. In the past, you had to scan in the paper in a high resolution like 300 dpi or higher, provide it to the software, then it was recognized, and the outcome very often had a lot of mistakes that you had to correct manually. With AI tools like ChatGPT, the situation is changing radically, because the high resolution is not required anymore. You can do it with a screenshot, and this software is at hand all the time. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Here, I made a screenshot of a presentation about Dora, and I liked the summary on the slide and I wanted to reuse it. Of course, I could type the text from the image into my presentation, but I was lazy about it. So, have a look. I just copy the screenshot into ChatGPT, I type in a very, very simple comment, and now the text is recognized and it is in a table, so I can copy and paste it in an easy way. On another instance, I found a particular page in the book of Stephen Bartlett especially interesting. It was about the culture of experimentation, and I wanted to quote it on my website. So what did I do? I took a photo with my iPhone of this particular page, I uploaded it into the ChatGPT app on iPhone, and I typed in a simple comment OCR into text. The text was recognized with a perfect quality, then if you hold a little bit longer, then the pop-up message comes and you can copy the message. Then I opened the Apple Notes uh, on iPhone and pasted the text. So now I have the text between, shared between different devices at my disposal. It is definitely a great way to improve efficiency, but it also raises certain security concerns. Let's say you would have a PDF on your screen which is protected against printing and copying the text. Now you can just make a screenshot and then let ChatGPT to convert it into a text. As usual, AI tools are just that. Tools. How we use them will determine if the impact will be positive or damaging. And, by the way, uh, you can expand this small arrow on ChatGPT to see the Python code that ChatGPT is using to recognize the image. You can copy this text into your local development environment and run it on a local machine on many images, not only on one. And this has a very, very big advantage, because in this case you will not be required to upload images to the AI tool in the cloud if they have some confidential data. What a time to be alive! Catch you in the next video. Bye.